Hi guys, um, it's been a month since I last did a vlog um, and it ha hasn't been a great month. Um, you know, we're still under coronavirus uh, restrictions, but that's all starting to settle down now. So I'm hoping, um, you know, the pool will open soon, the gym will open soon and, um, you know, life will return back to normal. Um, for me, you know, the last the last few months has not been great, particularly with regard to my um, my goals for doing the Ironman. Um, you know, I I think I'd given it away, but hadn't given it away. If that makes sense, like I didn't want to own up to it, um, and that was just that was just me being soft. Um, you know, so on the twenty sixth of January was the last time I weighed myself. And, and and this is an interesting insight into my psychology. And, you know, I'm tipping I'm not the only one that does this. Um, so I weighed in at the 20, on the 26th of the 1st, I was 127.6 kilos. And I'd gone through a week where I'd put on a couple of kilos of deep in my shit. So then I tell myself, oh, it's, um, I'm obsessing about my weight. Weighing myself must be the issue. And um, therefore, if I stop weighing myself, you know, sometime, somehow miraculously, that's going to give me a better result. Um, that's bullshit. Let's just call it for what it is. Um, things weren't going like I wanted them to do. I had a couple of bad weeks. I spat the dummy. And me not weighing myself was me giving myself permission to... Oh, not giving myself permission, but removing the accountability for evaluating how I was eating by checking in with my weight. Um, so, uh, you know, I and when you put weight on, it just tends to creep on again, like particularly when you're already overweight, you know, you can put on seven or eight kilos and not really notice um, cause you just go from being a fat fuck to being even more fat, you know? Um, so I gave myself a kick up the ass this week, um, and decided to hop back on the scales. Um, so on Wednesday morning, um, I weighed in at 138.3 kilos, uh, which was a bit of a surprise. I mean, I thought maybe I'd kick over 130 um but you know 135 i could have accepted 138 to put that into context when i started this journey back in october last year my first weigh in was 136.1 kilos so i was over 2 kilos heavier for effectively 7 months of effort um which isn't good um, you know, particularly given that I know what I need to do, I know how to eat properly. Um, and I've had excuses, you know, like, like, to be honest, I reckon six or eight weeks ago, um, when coronavirus hit and I did my medial ligament, um, you know, I reckon I would have been around about 130 something kilo, 130 kilos. Um, but, uh, you know, um, I can't really use that. Well, I can use it as an excuse. It's a, it's a reason that contributed, but you know, that's that's what has given way here is is my willpower and and sense of focus. Um, so today, um, when I weighed myself, I was one hundred and thirty five point one, and that's what my weight tends to do. Is it you know like I can I can pack it on quickly. I can get a pretty quick result, but. You know, since Wednesday, you know, I haven't eaten like a saint. Um, you know, I've just focused on a couple of key things. And for me, it's it, it's carbs, like sticking steer away from bread and flours and, you know, basically any carb-dense food. Um, you know, just don't eat shit, don't eat sugar. Um, and I tend, to, I tend to lose weight, you know, trying to stick a bit to the um, time-restricted eating thing as well. So... I guess what comes out of this is I know I need to be hyper vigilant 
But as soon as I start feeling that, oh, I'm obsessing over my weight, it's not good for me, um, I should stop weighing myself. Um, I've got to say, okay, what's really behind that? You know, what's happening? Okay, I'm going to keep weighing myself, but I'm going to, you know, have a cheat day or, or, or something else to relieve that perceived pressure that I'm putting on myself. Because what I know, if I weigh myself regularly, I lose weight. If I don't weigh myself regularly, I don't. Now that's a bit of an egg in the chicken scenario. You know, like I'm losing weight so I weigh myself or I'm not losing weight so I don't. You know, which which one causes it? But it doesn't really matter. You know, it's like, um, you know, the Peter Drucker quote, you know, you can't manage what you don't measure, right? So if I'm not getting that feedback from the scale as to how I am eating and how I am training, um, you know, it's, it's, it's how can I make mid-course adjustment to, to get where I need to be? Um, so, you know, what now? I, I, I just need to, you know, check in again and reevaluate. Um, you know, I've started to get out and walk a bit more, you know, like I did 10K yesterday around my Mount Lofty walk, a fair bit slower than what I was doing it a couple of months ago. Knee got a bit sore, um, but, you know, managing it. Um, got on the bike, uh, was going to do 48, uh, 40 minute erg um, this morning. Um, you know, canned it after 30, um, starting to feel a bit of pain in my knee. So, um, you know, but I've been doing a bit more rehab exercises, doing some air squats, you know, just, just really trying to strengthen it again because enough's enough, you know, like, like it will heal, but it won't get stronger unless I do some rehab. Um, so I'm on that. Um, so now, um, you know, I haven't given this away by any means. I've still got time. Um, I've just probably got to reevaluate, um, you know, my dates and my plan. Um, and to be honest, you know, I wanted to do it when I'm 50 and I'm choosing one, you know, if I do bustle and it's in October of um, uh, when I'm good to go. Um, so I've got 10, 10 months after my birthday. So, you know, I've got plenty of time. Um, so no need to give it away, no need to panic. I do, however, need to, um, you know, be consistent and not do this again. You know, plateauing is okay. You know, if I get down to, you know, say I drop 15, get down to 120, I'm happy to sit there for a month, you know, um, and then I'll get down to 100 and I'll sit there for a bit. Um, but what I can't have is go down to 120 and then go back up to 130 and then go down to 110 and go back up to 120. Because um, if I do that, I'll be doing the Ironman at 120 kilos and I'm a stubborn prick. I would do it and I'd complete my fuck myself and it'd be really hurt and it'd be a long day out. And that's not what we want out of this. Um, so thanks for listening, guys. Um, it's always good to check in and give myself a bit of a kick up the ass. Um, so enjoy. Have a good day.